Bluehost Review 2022. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you a review on Bluehost.com. How you can host your own website with Bluehost. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Bluehost.com and you will land on this platform right here. If you do not have any idea about Bluehost, Bluehost is a web hosting platform that allows you to host your website for free. There is a pricing plan which I will be mentioning and I will tell you all about it. And then there are different features as well and Bluehost works with WordPress and you can uh, build a website with Bluehost and then you can do website hosting. Then we have you know domain names stores and other services as well so the first step is going to be of course to sign up for bluehost so what you have to do is you will find the option of login and sign up right here so you're gonna quickly sign up for bluehost.com the sign up process for bluehost is really easy you can simply sign up with your google account or you will simply sign up with your email address and you simply have to set up a password. Once you have them, then you simply have your Bluehost. So before you, you know, sign up, you actually have to get started with a plan. You will have to select any of the plan. So this is the pricing plan for Bluehost right here. So we have a basic plan, which is going to be $2.95 per month, which is kind of like on sale right now. It was $8, but right now it is just $2.95 and it has, you know, 50 GB of storage. Then we have one website and we have a free certificate, performance is standard, uh, email storage. All of the features are given right here. Then we have a plus plan, which is going to be $5.45 dollars right here uh, per month and it also has all of the features right here and then we have a choice plan which is recommended one because it has a lot of different features and right now the pricing is similar to the plus a plan right here which is $5.45 per month so the pricing is actually quite reasonable right here and we get a lot of different features right here on Bluehost so what you have to do is you simply go ahead and you know select any of the plan or let's say that I want to go for a basic plan so I will simply select it and then I will sign up with my Google account and that is how you get your own Bluehost so now I will simply type in my email add my password and then log in to my account that is super easy to do now let's check out different features that we get on bluehost and i am going to be you know reviewing different features and what are the different tools that we get and if bluehost is good for you for your web hosting or not so one of the features that really stand out is that most of the people are going to be using wordpress wordpress is an amazing website builder so what happens is on wordpress i think bluehost works really good with wordpress and you can you know do wordpress hosting we have manage wordpress option right here and we also have a website builder option on Bluehost. So Bluehost is not only giving you the option to host your website, but you can also build a website with a WordPress website with your Bluehost. So that is actually, uh, you know, very efficient and very, you know, good feature that we are getting on Bluehost. Then when it comes to the websites, what kind of websites you can create with uh, Bluehost, we can actually create all kind of websites and we can also create online stores with bluehost so that is actually uh, pretty good and there are a lot of templates available when it comes to creating website and when it comes to hosting your website you will get your own domain as well and let's talk about domains now because domain is really really important thing when it comes to website hosting because we want our own domain name uh, with our website and most of the time uh, what happens is the website builders are not providing you the domain name so that is the purpose of your website uh, you know a uh, host so they will actually you know give you a domain name if we talk about the domain name right here 
So you can see right here, I can just simply type in any name I want to. Let's say that my website is named or my blog, whatever the name is. So let's just say that my website or blog, I'm just going to type in any word. Let's go with dreams. Okay, so I'm going to just simply go ahead and type the word dreams right here. So let's say dreams.com. That's what I want. So I get a drop down right here, drop down menu. So you will see I have all of the domain names right here. We have .com, which is the most famous one and, uh, you know, the most expensive one as well because everybody wants .com, right? And then we have .net, .org, .store, .co, .blog. If I were to choose for dreams because it's a blog, so I would have gone with dot blog or dot com right here and then we have uh, the others dot info dot as dot life so these are the different domain names available on bluehost so you can go with any of these and you simply click on search as well because it depends on the availability as well and the pricing so i will simply click on search and bluehost will uh, you know search it for me the availability and the pricing for this domain name as well so now you can see right here, I have my search results. So you can see that dreams.com is not available right now. So, you know, Bluehost will tell you all about your domain name. So it's not available. But now they have these suggestions for me. They have dreams.com in which there is like three and four written as, uh, you know, E and A. Then we have dreamswellness.com. Then we have deems.com. Now they're just giving me these suggestions to go for. And these are all, you know, dot com. So if I want to go for a dot com, I can, you know, change my name. Or I can simply go ahead and, you know, change the domain name. I can simply go for maybe dreams.org or maybe dreams.net. So what is going to happen? Maybe this one will be available and Bluehost will tell me about it. That if the domain name is available and the pricing as well. And after that, you simply, you know, you go ahead and buy the domain name. So that is how it works on Bluehost. If we talk about the pricing, the dot com actually starts from round about $13 almost because it is going to be $12.99 most of the time uh, for dot com. And then, of course, the pricing decreases for different domain names. For example, org is available in $9.99 dot store is also you know it's a featured domain so that is why it is also 12.99 but again you can see right here uh this one is actually a uh, dot space is available for just 1.99 dollars just two dollars so it depends on the uh you know domain name as well so we get a lot of blue host you know domain names right here and that is why Bluehost is, you know, one of the very famous uh, web hosting uh, platform because it has all of the domain names for you that you can buy in not that expensive and reasonable pricing. So then we have online store, uh, you know, option. We have website builder. Then we have professional services as well. In these services, we get uh, other services such as, you know, your marketing and your stats, the different dashboards that you are actually going to get with your blue host. Then we have the email option. We actually get our own webmail with Bluehost. This is actually one of the features that I really liked because what happens is when we have a web hosting a platform, so we use our normal Gmail and we have to create our own professional email or business email with another account using um, another uh, you know platform because it's important. Creating your own business email is really important when it comes to having your own business, having a domain name, a website with a domain name, and then becomes the, uh, you know, your email. So you need a business email and web host allows you to create your own professional email address within your Bluehost and you don't have to go to any other platform. So this is actually one of the uh, other features that really make Bluehost stand out. Then we have the WooCommerce option on Bluehost as well. You can actually create your e-commerce store with Bluehost as well because it allows you to, you know, uh, host your business. And if you have a business, then you can simply use Bluehost to create your own website, to create your own store. If you're using WordPress, then you can also use Bluehost as your hosting platform where you will actually get your own professional email and then your domain as well.
So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know uh, what is Bluehost.com and how to use Bluehost.com and what are the different features Bluehost provides you in order to help you create amazing website and your store. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.